Let me start by saying that I'm a 28-year-old guy, and I'm still trying to make sense of what happened. I'm not even sure if this is reality or some bizarre alternate universe. I've been dating a girl, let's call her Sarah, for a while now, and about a month ago, we decided to make it official. You know the whole, officially meet on Facebook, meet the parents, thing. I thought I had found someone I could see a future with. So last night my buddy Eric came over to my house to hang out. We were drinking beer and talking about life when he started telling me about his recent adventure at a strip club. I've never been a fan of strip clubs, but Eric loves the scene. He was raving about the incredible girl he met there, someone he said was special. He even has her phone number, which is apparently a big deal in this world. I was only half listening, still focused on the game we were watching, when he showed me her picture, and there she was, Sarah, my girlfriend, the woman I'd introduced as my better half, right there on Eric's phone, in a setting that was far from honorable. At first, I thought Eric was pulling some kind of prank, but the look on his face said he was dead serious. He had no idea she was my girlfriend, he was just sharing what he thought was an interesting story. So I did what any guy in my situation would do I told Eric to finish his beer, and we went straight to the strip club. And yes, she danced like she didn't have a guy waiting for her at home, thinking she was out with her girlfriends or something. Instead of immediately lashing out at Sarah, I needed time to think, to process what I had just witnessed. How do you even start a conversation like that? The next day I went back to the club alone not the smartest thing to do, I know, but I needed answers. I sat in the back, ordered a drink I hadn't touched, and waited. Sure enough, there she was, dancing for some old guy like it was just another day at work. I caught her eye, and the look on her face was indescribable. After the dance, she came up to me, her eyes begging me to stay calm. She asked if we could talk about it at home, and I reluctantly agreed. When we got home, it was excruciatingly awkward. Eventually she began to explain that it was just her job, that there were no feelings involved. She insisted that she wanted to be with me, and that her job didn't change the way she felt about us. I listened to the woman I thought I knew, trying to come to terms with this new reality. She begged me to understand, to separate her work from our relationship. I'm still digesting it all. Part of me wants to believe her, to accept that it's just a job. But another part of me is screaming that this isn't normal, that I shouldn't accept it. I've been thinking about this for a long time, talking to friends who have told me openly. Dump her, she'll cheat on you with anyone for money. Obviously, she doesn't limit herself to dancing naked. I was faced with a very important question, do I listen to my heart and try to get over it? Or do I listen to the voice of my friends telling me to run away? I spent a lot of time in my head. After all that, I've made a decision. I'm going to trust her. I'm going to try to separate Sarah, the woman I love, from Sarah, the stripper. She's been open and honest since I confronted her, and she swears she has no emotional attachment to her work. And you know what? I believe her. She's promised to take a vacation next weekend, and we're planning to spend the day at a high-end spa, just the two of us. No distractions, no judgment a chance to reconnect and hopefully begin to rebuild what is broken. Yes, I'm footing the bill, but at this point, if a day at the spa helps repair things, it's a small price to pay. I know it's a risk, but isn't love a risk? If you're not willing to take a risk for the person you love, what's the point?